Hey everyone, it's Friday. Happy Friday to you. <clears throat> Today I'm going to discuss one of my subjects I've been re you know, that's been requested of me. Um, but before I get into that subject, I need you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, so I'd like you to go and subscribe and click the notify. Um, there's no way I'm ever likely to get this channel monetized, but the more subscribers I have and the more views I have, the more fun I'll have making this. So this is sort of free consulting stuff. People usually pay me pretty good money to consult, but I feel like sharing. So, you know, reward me by subscribing if you like it. So, there goes the phone. So one of the subject matters we're going to talk about today, the subject matter we're going to talk about today is fear of failure. Fear of failure is really common. I had it when I was younger. Uh, fear of failure is something where you're afraid to try or get started in a business because you're afraid you're going to fail. Well, guess what? <clears throat> you're going to fail at something. I have failed at more businesses than I've been successful at. The trick is to be successful at some of them, and it wipes out the failures. Um, a few interesting notes. There's a, a saying that uh, my mother once told me that the only people who don't fail or make mistakes are dead. So you don't want to be dead, do you? You're alive. You want to be involved. You want to get started. You want to do something. Don't let fear of failure impede you. If you fail, what's the worst thing that can happen? You might get into a little debt. You've tried something and it didn't work. You've learned a lesson. That is the takeaway from it. Um, it, it's important to try. If you don't try, you've already failed. You really have to keep that mindset. If there's something you want to try and do, don't let the worry that you're going to fail at it impede your progress. You, you've, you've just got to try it. If you don't try it, you've already failed. So do it. You want to start that business, you're worried that you're going to fail, learn as much about that business as you can, move forward, get as much information as you can before you start, and give it your best shot. You know, um, you know, as my father also once said to me, you know, if you, you know, go and go out there and advertise and market, and if someone says no to you or they don't like it, what's the worst they can do? They can't cook you or eat you, right? They can't cook you or eat you. No. So all you've got to do is get past the point that you're going to, it may fail. There's some, um, some businesses have windows. Sometimes you're too early for that window of that business before it has a chance to be successful. Sometimes you're too late. I have been too early many a time where I saw some, a trend coming on the internet. I had one of the first internet models in 90. 697 but visa visa card wouldn't let anyone buy online now go figure that's where everyone buys now but back in the 90s late 90s they weren't letting it happen so i was too far ahead and i didn't have the cash reserves to to play in that game you know fortunately that business sort of failed came back failed came back failed but it's always led to something else that failure led me to consulting and contracting in the software because I'd written all the software for this mall and, all, and the shopping center and the carts and all that. And some banks saw my work and they liked it and they wanted me to consult with them on upgrading some of their stuff. So even failures can lead you to successes. But if you don't try, you're not going anywhere. You have to try. You have to give it a shot, especially in this day and age. Um, there's no there's no givens. There's no you know, there's no guarantees anymore of employment. There's no guarantees of, of being able to retire on a company pension. Those things just don't happen. The only guarantee in life is you. Uh, what you can do, what you can bring to the table, what you want to exchange for money, your time, your happiness, your energy, whatever it is, the only guarantee is you. And you need to go do it. You need to not be worried about failure because failure happens and everyone fails at something. And if you let your failure or the worry about failure um, get in your way, then you'll never be successful.
One company I, I did, a, one startup I worked for, uh, actually I, I was brought in to write all the code for this startup and we got it done. It was great. It was a financial processing company. It was, it was a, a online payment company. And when we were ready to pull the trigger, they didn't because they were afraid of failure. They were afraid of pulling the trigger and a mistake being made. Um, you know who didn't have that type of failure was, or fear was Elon Musk. Elon Musk has probably made bigger mistakes than you will ever make. He got into trouble with PayPal. Oh, he was in such legal trouble. He's made so many mistakes, but he's powered through them. He had the personality to say, eh, who cares? You know, ask, ask for forgiveness instead of permission. And he did his stuff. And he is who he is, and he's made he's worth a lot of money. He's worth billions. He's one of the richest people in the world. You know, that sort of tenacity of like, go for it, ask a permission or ask for forgiveness instead of permission and not worrying about failure is the, is the hallmark of successful startups. Other cup, you know, a few other semi-successful startups were the scooters, the electric scooter companies. They didn't ask permission. They just dropped those scooters out all over uh, metropolitan areas and then asked for forgiveness after they did it. Uh, where they did ask for permission, they were bound, bound or barred from it. But they, for a while, there were very successful companies. They might still be after this pandemic's over, but who knows? Another set of companies who asked for forgiveness and didn't worry about failure were the Lyft and the uh, and Uber. Those people just went for it. And they made some mistakes, and they got slaps on the wrist, and and they just did it. Um, just doing it's important and not worrying about the failure. Granted, you probably don't want to be putting out something that goes in a human's body and not worrying about failure because there are consequences. But generally speaking, other areas where you've got a business, a service business, a product you want to sell... Um, don't worry about failure. Do your best to run your numbers. Give it the best shot. Um, you know, once you're reasonably confident that you can make some money at it, do it. Don't worry about failure. Um, failure happens. I know some very rich people who fail at million dollar ventures all the time. Eh, million dollars here, 600,000 here, 700,000 here. And the, the important thing about them is they don't worry about failure. Failure happens. You just move on. Now, granted, if you're watching this, you probably don't have 600,000 or a million dollars to lose. But you probably have $600 or a thousand or two or three thousand dollars to lose. You can hustle and you can build a business um, and just do it. Just doing it's important. And that's the, the old Nike motto. Just do it. Don't worry about the failure. I can't tell you how much it's so important to have confidence in yourself and do your best and give it your best shot and know that it may fail and so what. I gave it my best shot and I'm on to my next thing. I have failed so many times. I have to look at my tax records but going back years to see what the businesses were and then why they failed. Sometimes, like I said, it was just the window was closed or the, or, and that window for that business no longer existed. Sometimes I was there just too early and I ran out of resources before I had a chance for that window to open and become part of that. It doesn't matter though. Uh, there's always something, there's always an opportunity and as long as you give it your best shot, You'll be successful at something. I remember Branson. I remember hearing Branson say something about opportunities. Opportunities are like buses. A new one arrives every five minutes. Take your opportunity. Give it the best shot. If it fails, it fails. Don't worry about it. Dust yourself off. Look for that next opportunity to come by and take advantage of it. You are really in control of your own life. And you can do this. Give it your best shot. Let me know what you do and how it goes. Remember to subscribe and thank you for listening.